Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Surprise, surprise. How are we doing today? Hi, everyone. This is a um, surprise live. Since we are coming into today's the first day of May. Happy May. Happy first day of May. Um, this live is for anyone that is stressed out. <laughs> this live is for anyone that is tired of the hustle. This live is for anyone that feels that one day you're feeling amazing, you're feeling happy, and then the next day you're not feeling good. So it's like this emotional imbalance of feeling good and not feeling good. Um, this is, this life is for people that, um, have peace in their lives, but would like more peace. This life is for people that don't have peace in their lives and want to have more peace. And that's what I will be sharing about today. My experience with how to come back to my peace, even though things could be a shit show outside and also how to implement it in your daily life. Now, for me, um, peace is so overrated. Um, I mean, it's so underrated. <laughs> it's so underrated. Peace is so underrated. Um, I don't, I don't think we understand how important peace is in our lives. And, um, I will be sharing that with everyone today. So if you are in a state of mind that is, filled with a little bit of negativity or anxiety, or you feel that you don't have a balance in your life. Some days you feel good, some days you don't feel good. Um, if you're struggling with depression, if you're struggling with having your mind just constantly have thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts, this live is for you. Um, this live will be short, to the point, spontaneous. I just want to come on here and just share what true peace is about and how to attain true peace in your life at this point in time. So first thing I want to say is, um, my name is Maria Felipe. I am a spiritual teacher. I, I love what I do. I dedicate my life to helping others, um, stop suffering and come back to love through the teachings of A Course in Miracles, um, through the teachings of Byron Katie and the work, really questioning your thoughts. Um, so I run coaching groups. Um, I have a Course in Miracles membership that I run, which I'll share with you towards the end of this meeting together. And I also do one-on-one -on -one and also master classes every month. So I dedicate myself to this work. And what I have found is with my community and with getting to know people is that we have one thing in common. And that one thing is that we all want to have peace. We all want to be happy. That's what connects us. We all want to stop suffering. And there is a way there in this world of duality, this world of separation, to be able to be come back to that peace. And one of the first steps is that if you feel that you are not peaceful, right? That you're not feeling that peace in your heart, and I learned this through ministerial program at Pathways of Light when I became a minister. You have every right to say, stop world, I want to get off. So whenever you are not at peace, whenever you are in your mind and you're going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and your mind is talking a lot of caca, okay? Like I like to say, you have every right. Are you ready? You have every right to say, stop world, I want to get off. I want to get off. You have every right to do that. Let go of the tension leading the way. Let go of the anxiety leading the way. Allow yourself to feel that. It's okay to be a hot mess. And at the same time to feel that and with the willingness to say, I want something different. I want to perceive this differently. The Course in Miracles talks about two different thought systems in our mind, love and fear. Love and fear are the Holy Spirit or the ego. And when you come back to peace, that is the way that you come back to your right mind, you let go of the cuckoo mind, and you come back to your sanity, your sanity, 
and then you're able to listen to the Holy Spirit. But you can't, it's very hard to listen and to be grateful when you are in your cuckoo mind and you're not at peace. So that's why peace is so underrated. Because the only way that we have connection to our higher self, the only way that we can be happy and follow that guidance and connect to God again is by coming back to a peaceful state of mind and getting away from the trance of the world, getting away from the illusory world, getting away from the separation. Okay? How do we do that? We return to that peace with having that willingness. That willingness of saying, I am so willing to come back to that peace of mind. I'm so willing to let go of this ego narrative, of this fear. I'm so willing to see this differently. And there's a true prayer here that I feel is essential. And, um, and that is just knowing that peace is your inheritance. Peace is your truth. Peace is what you are. Peace has never left you. It's your thoughts and your beliefs of the past and the future and the stories that you're making up in the cuckoo mind consistently taka, 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 that is making you believe you're asleep and that you are not that peace. But the truth is that's the good news. You are that peace. So we want to recognize that I am that peace. That peace has never left me. Okay. Then what you can do is, is to begin to let that peace be your guide. And that is a prayer of the heart because I feel that God, universe, source, love wants us to be at peace and wants us to be happy. And we need to be dedicated to that peace and to own it and say in a very deep way with a very deep prayer, I want the peace of God. I want the peace of God. I want to let go. This is what true prayer is, my friends. You know, I want to let go of this burden. I want to stop suffering. I want to stop this up and down and side to side. I want to stop this hustle. I want to stop this comparison. I want to, to stop this, this, um, cuckoo mind, these caca thoughts. I want to experience God love in a whole new way. And I want the peace that is already mine. That is my inheritance. When you start to lay down that tension, when you start to have that big willingness, as I like to say, when you let go of the judgments, when you let go of the victimization, when you let go of the control, peace finds you there. And it's that simple and complicated at the same time. So what I invite you to do is to choose peace. This is the practice I'm leaving you with that I feel will be helpful. Choose peace. So let me tell you a story. When I was, when I'm a minister and when I was speaking at a church in Los Angeles, a girl came up to me with a contract of her apartment and she wanted me to pray for her to get this apartment. So how many of you can relate to wanting to pray for something to happen, to come to life? How many of you uh, can relate to that? Right? So she comes with a, with a contract. She says, please sit with me and let's pray because I really want this apartment. And what I said to her is, we're going to pray, but we're not going to pray for you to get the apartment. We're going to pray for peace. We're going to pray for your peace. And she was like, okay. <laughs> she didn't like it too much. But you know what? It's the best thing ever. Because why am I going to pray for the apartment when we both don't know what's the highest best? Why are we trying to play God and say, I want to have this? When we don't know, we don't know what's the highest best. That's why we need to come filled with wonder. How do I not know that if we pray for this apartment, maybe the apartment, maybe I have a smoker and you don't like smoke, or maybe you have loud music, or maybe it will have a plumbing problem, but you think and you want to pray for this apartment. How do you not, not know what you're being saved from if you don't get the apartment? That's right, Miss Brightside. Let go and let God. Absolutely. And this is very radical thinking, guys, because in this world of illusion, we're taught to hustle, we're taught to manifest, we're taught to pray for things, we're taught, we're taught to manifest things. And I'm coming with a new message, a radical message that is true for my heart, because I was in the hustle too, of really being trusting in my life, really allowing God to be God. I don't know what's the highest and best for me. I am filled with wonder. That brings me peace. So you need to begin 
to come into your life with, I choose peace first. I want to choose peace. This is a great practice that you can, and, and uh, Mercurius 27 says, taught to be materialistic. Yes, we're taught to be materialistic. That is so on point. We're so taught to be materialistic. We're so taught to succeed, to want to have likes on the on the Facebook, on the YouTube. How many people can see me? How much money can I make? Um, what what can I have more in the world of material so that I can feel worthy, so that I can be seen? But my friends, those days are over. Those days are over. The time has come for a new perspective, a new reality to come to our lives because we know that the old paradigm is not working. Miss Bright said, "Yes, radical living, living." completely in a radical state of mind, in a radical way, that is the opposite day of what we've been taught. So going back to the girl, we chose, we choose peace. We prayed for peace, not the, not the contract, not for her to get the apartment in LA. And that was so powerful because she came into a place that was really beautiful and that really suited her at that time. So if you have an appointment for a new job, Instead of, I want to get this job and you going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs to want to get this job and not sleeping over this job. Think, I want to choose peace. I want peace instead of whatever I think I need. Yes, you could want the job and you want to be very honest about that. You know, I want things too, right? So it's like, I would love this job, but I'm open and willing for whatever is the best for me because I do not know. And when you come into this with filled with wonder, filled with you don't know you're not you're like a little child because you never know my friends what you're being saved from you never know what you're being saved from so instead of i want the job choose peace i want peace instead of i want my business to work i want this investment to work choose peace first you want to constantly be choosing peace instead of what you think you need although you have that purpose and you desire it's a great desire to have, but don't get so caught up in it. Don't get so manipulative about it. Don't control it. Don't make it so real. Peace comes in when you don't make things real. Don't make it so real. Don't make it so tangible. Don't make it your identity. Don't let it define you. And then you begin to get unhooked from the world of illusion more and more and more. You start to let go of things defining you and peace has arrived. When I was publishing my first book, actually my first book and my only book so far, <laughs> after write my next book, Live Your Happy, it was such a great journey because I didn't allow it to define me. And I lived a life of being not at peace because my job defined me at the time. My relationships defined me. Um, being successful at that defined me. And there was little peace. But when I came into being a teacher of God and I had this insight that I wanted to begin to be a teacher of God, I had prayed. My prayer was peace first. My prayer was, I don't want to make this matter. I don't want to make this real. I want to enjoy being a spiritual teacher. I don't want to make it a thing. I don't want to make it so important. I just want to share and be and express. That's where my God career that I like to call came into my life. And then now I get to say with full intention and conviction, the reason I feel so peaceful and so happy, not 100% of the time, it's a work in progress, my friends, but what does help me is the understanding that the world doesn't define me, okay? My book doesn't define me. Being an author doesn't define me, right? Um, being in this life doesn't define me. Um, <laughs> being successful in what I do doesn't define me. What defines me is God. What defines me is something that goes, it's beyond this world of illusion. It's beyond these freaking tags that they put on us, these success tags and these things outside define you. No, God defines us. Love defines us. Joy defines us. That was, that's what matters. So we be, begin to let go of the hustle. We begin to let go of the manifestation. There's nothing to manifest because that manifestation is already within us as we come into the self-actualization of God within us, within our mind. And then peace is there. Peace is there when we let go of the manipulation. Peace is there when we let go of things defining us. Peace is there when we just come back to our natural state of wonder and childlike being. And then there, we connect to spirit. We connect to the Holy Spirit. We're back into our sanity. We get to be intuitive and light and fun. So with that being said, 
May is all about peace for my community. Peace first, choose peace. That is what we're working on. We're working on that in the membership, in the Happy Miracle membership, which I have. And you're more than welcome to come. And I invite you to come, to come within the membership and to check out the amazing workbook I've created for you that talks about peace in a very extensive, deep way. I give you what The Course of Miracles is saying about peace, very simple layman's terms. I give you a practice for every week on coming back to that peace, an affirmation, a prayer. I give you a beautiful meditation that I recorded in my closet <laughs> that is so beautiful and powerful that connects you back to that peace of mind. You, you just put all the stress on the altar and pray and come back to that peace of mind through this meditation. And then there's going to be a masterclass this month that you get free within the membership um, on peace. I'm inviting you for free to the membership. Did you hear that? I'm inviting you for free. You get to come into my membership, into my community for free. Why? Because I want you to experience it. And if you come in and out of the meditation of, of the, of the membership, that's fine. So the membership is free. You come going to my, um, my link in bio, you go in there and it's free for two weeks. You could explore the whole thing for two weeks. If you cancel within two weeks, you don't pay. Right when you come into the membership, I send you a welcome email and I send you an uh, affirmation booklet that is so powerful. Um, an ACIM affirmation booklet that help that, that is really, really great. And I put a lot of love into it. So come into coaching group. We have also come into coaching group if you want. I have a, a you know, people, a five group of five people that I, I do coaching group with. I have the membership. I have my monthly classes. Whatever ones of my offerings you feel guided to do, I invite you. I give so much free content. Join my YouTube channel. I give so much free content there. Um, I'm constantly giving freebies on my WhatsApp group. Join my WhatsApp group. But the most important thing, whether you do anything here with me not, or, or with me or without me, or with in my community or without my community, the whole point is, is this moment. This moment that you've come into this live, this moment that you've heard this message about peace, and to choose peace first in your life. And that's the most important thing. So I hope that you gained some knowledge, um, that you learned something, that this was truly helpful for you because the time has come for me, for us, us to experience a peace beyond measure. So I invite you into my community. I invite you into practicing peace together this May as community, as in a, within a community, um, because we can hold hands together and, and choose peace first and choose peace first. Steph life in photos. Hi, sweetheart. Um, basically the info is on my link in profile, um, on my link tree, you can go straight to my membership and sign up, um, and get your two weeks free. So thanks for asking Steph and thanks for being here for the whole time and listening to this message. This will be recorded here. So all of you that are joining now, I just went over key steps on peace, how to come back to your peace of mind. This live is for anyone that's going through depression, anyone that is making the world very real, anyone that's in the hustle, anyone that's thinking that their success is outside, anyone that's into manifesting, anyone that's into creating, wanting to make things happen. This live is all about, if you wanna come back to your true nature and your true self, I invite you to watch this live if you're just coming in now, because this is what really matters, this. and this, and this moment. That's all we have. Thank you so much. I will read um, this little quote here from the Phoenix Nose. Thank you so much. No to self, pray for peace. Not a healthy reciprocal relationship. Pray for peace, not to be understood. Don't invest in the illusion, exactly. Thank you so much, the Phoenix Nose, absolutely. Um, amen to that. Amen to that. I love how you all, um, thank you so much, Steph's life and photos. Amazing. I hope to see you at the membership, girl. I hope to see you on the membership. Your beauty shines so bright. Thanks, Steph. All right, everyone. I leave you with, with this. I leave you with this, with this piece. Can you feel it?
nothing to say. I mean, no words. That's it. Mwah. Love you all. Have a beautiful day filled with love and light. And I hope to see you in the membership. Bye-bye.